Hello, my beautiful fragrance family. Dustin here, fragrance fan. Go ahead and do me a solid and click that like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. And I'm just gonna keep on giving you guys these budget-friendly fragrance reviews. That 40-ish and $100 range, most of these are way less than that. And a good number of these you can find at your local rag stores. Found this one at my local rag store. Kind of piqued my interest because I had already bought one from this house. It's the first one that I bought from this house. Been kind of eyeballing this house and wanting to, you know, explore in it a little bit. And the first one that I bought was Raki. I did a review on this thing. Great fragrance. Excellent, fresh, Invictus style fragrance. So I ended up going to the rack store and picking up however you pronounce that. Muta Matayas, I don't know, uh, Muta, Muta Maez, I guess. I have no clue, but that's what it is. Swiss Arabian Muta Maez. And one thing about these fragrances with the atomizer, things a cannon, man. <laughs> it squirts out some juice with some pressure, with authority. So this lid is very, 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 very light, cheap plastic, and it's directional. You have to line the contours up or it will not try to click into place. It doesn't click well, just like the other one. So there's that. Um, other than that, pretty simple presentation, pretty standard, nothing spectacular here, but uh, the atomizer is a really good atomizer. So when I first sprayed this thing, I was really impressed. I thought this was a really good smelling fragrance. It's kind of in the ballpark of like uh, Latafa Al Noble um, Amir, this fella right here. It kind of has this kind of vibe going on in the beginning because this is a sweet, woody, oud, spicy fragrance. That's what this is through and through. The one thing that this doesn't have that that one does and does very well, I'm talking about this one, the one that this one does very well, is the leather accord. This one has leather, this one does not. This one does open up with a good dose of sweet spiciness and the oud is rich and it's there. You can, I mean, it's there. Like a Middle Eastern, picture your Middle Eastern sweet spicy oud fragrance and that's what this is. But the dried down gets a little bit, um, kind of cloying in a way, it, this note isn't listed. And I might be going crazy, but it almost takes on like a violet leaf thing going on with the oud and to me it kind of clashes a little bit. I'm not gonna sit here and say that this is a bad smelling fragrance because it is not whatsoever. This does not smell bad. If you like oud and spicy Middle Eastern fragrances, then you'll probably like this one because that's what it is. But for the same price, I would recommend going with something like this or for, um, you know, a couple more dollars, you can get like the, the Afnan Tarathi Brown, which isn't really an oud type fragrance, but it's in this like sweet, spicy vanilla kind of thing, which is what's going on here. Um, there's just plenty of other Middle Eastern spicy oud sweet fragrances that I think are a little better than this one. But again, I'm not gonna say it's a bad fragrance. I did also think it was going to perform better because it is a heavy, um, not super dark, but dense, a heavy, dense, sweet, kind of loud at the beginning, cool weather, spicy, fragrance. I thought that this thing was going to be some kind of beast, which a lot of these Middle Eastern fragrances, especially the sweet, spicy oud ones, are. This one actually performs better. There we go. And it's a fresh fragrance. It's actually louder and performs better. The performance on this isn't terrible. It's not bad. It's like a five hour fragrance. I could see how some of you guys are gonna say, I get all day in this thing, 12 plus hours. It's atomic, it's a beast and whatever. But on me personally, I don't. I get five or six hours, which is decent. It's, you know, it's not bad, but for what it is, for the category that it's in, I would expect more. But I can't knock points off of this thing on my rating scale just because the performance is at that average mark compared to solid average, solid slightly above. So overall, um, this is more mature, I would say. I don't think uh, the youth is gonna enjoy this. This is a cool weather, nighttime, evening uh, kind of a wear. It's not gonna go good in the summer. It could go okay in the office with the sprays toned down a little bit. Um, and it's not really a safe blind buy unless you're familiar with Middle Eastern sweet spicy oud fragrances. And um, overall, 
I give it a five out of 10. Not bad, it's a good smell of fragrance. It just doesn't blow me away. Again, the opening, I was like, wow, this thing is really good. I really, really, really enjoyed it. And then I wore it a few times. Actually, the first time that I wore it, I was like, eh, there's something that's kind of mixing in here that's just not all that good. And you can't really detect different notes. There's like pine and mandarin in here, and there's sandalwood and uh, ambergris, I think, like something like that. There's no florals in here at all, which is kind of funny. There's vanilla, but you can't really detect it any of those. You just kind of get the accords. It's kind of just all like merged together in one concoction of a sweet, spicy, oud, woody fragrance. That's what it is. There's no kind of layers that you can, that me personally, that you can detect. You know, the spices maybe, maybe a little bit of clove, and that's about it. Other than that, it is what it is. It's a five out of 10, decent smell of fragrance for the price, it's pretty good, you know? If you wanna dabble into a Middle Eastern sweet spicy oud fragrance, you see this one at Burlington for like 15 bucks, whatever it is, go ahead and check it out. It ain't bad. But other than that, I'm not saying to run out and go and buy this thing, you know what I mean? So uh, that's my final thoughts on Swiss Arabian's Muta Mayas. With that, I'm out. Y'all be blessed. Take care of yourself always. And until next time.